Hi, my name is Nate McCullough on behalf of ExpertVillage.com. In this clip, we're going to talk about the proper way to reinstall the vehicle's caliper bridge. This is your vehicle's caliper bridge here. It's going to fit around the rotor, and it's what the caliper actually mounts to. What I like to do is slide it all on. I'll use my third hand or my knee here to hold our rotor. I'm going to take one of the bolts and slide it in and just get the thread started, four or five threads. It's a good idea to start both bolts before you begin tightening any of them. If you tighten one bolt before the other one's started, odds are your holes aren't going to be lined up. You're going to have to loosen the other bolt to, to then get the second one started. Once you have them both in place, you can go ahead and run them down as far as you can with your fingers. That's about all we're going to get out of those. Grab my ratchet here, switch it over to tighten. You can see we're going clockwise to tighten it. And set it on the lower mounting bolt. Go ahead and run it down. This bolt is going to torque to approximately 100 foot-pounds, which is just about as hard as a guy can turn with one hand. Just about as tight as you'd want to tighten one of your wheel studs. You go ahead and stand up and give it a good tweak. Make sure it's good and tight. You don't need to apply any Loctite or any kind of adhesive to these bolts. If you do, it'll be awful tough for any kind of future service. There you go. That's the proper way to install your caliper bridge. While you have it on here, it's a good idea to take your screwdriver and if you see any excessive rust, to go ahead and scrape it off your mounts, both top and bottom, inside and outside. It's easier to clean these mounting surfaces when it's installed because the bolts will hold it in place for you. That's the proper way to reinstall your caliper bridge.